This anime has got some sick ass tunes, a lot of which I still listen to to this day, even after finishing the anime shortly after it came out. This OP is genuinely one of my favourites. I think it's got an awesome and catchy tune and also packs some simply great looking visuals throughout. Overhead bird's eye view of the capital city with some nice CGI clouds makes for an incredibly detailed view of the large city below and helps to breathe life into it by appearing like a genuine city would from above. Hi! Oh. Oh. Beeps! I love these changes in art style that this anime uses quite often. It just reminds me of Kono Suba, which is another anime I absolutely adore. CGI Snow that looks bloody awesome. <laughs> this one genuinely got me. Another example of CGI being used to an extremely limited degree, and so much so that it's hardly even noticeable, but helps create the scene nicely. I can't show it, and I don't really want to point out the multiple instances that I like in the future, so here I'll simply say that I really enjoy the adult visuals in this anime with its gore and such, so it can take 5 wins for any instances that may appear over the course of this video. Badass music and badass visuals are badass in equal measure. I'm not going to show the point of impact, but just look at how lovely and smooth this animation is. I'm a massive fan of sequences like this. Again, I can't show what they're seeing in that room on YouTube, but it definitely deserves three wins for its graphic and mature nature. That's the thing they set out to create, a very adult and fun and action-packed anime, and in my honest opinion, they succeeded. Holy balls, they did this well to create a scene of a truly messed up in the head girl. For this scene, painting a picture of despair and sadness into such a degree that it saddens me without even knowing the lad is commendable and hard to achieve in even the best of anime. The CD for its lovely and calming song after the hectic and gore filled episodes that precede it. <laughs> Smooth animation is both smooth and funny. Boss Beebs. The start of character building, giving us a glimpse of areas in the base and our main crew in it. It certainly is, and it's also hand drawn to boot, so props for that. <coughs> Yet more evidence, if you needed it, of the anime's commitment to a mature theme. Absolutely gorgeous background music really helps to set the scene in a big way. Anime not doing the age-old classic reacting long after an attack cliché. Absolutely gorgeous art style change. Huh? Awesome and limited use of CGI looks fantastic when done like this. Oh. Oh. Ah. Can't really show it because of the insane level of violence, but these first roughly five minutes showcase all of the team's abilities in a neat and tidy fashion for us, the viewer. Beautifully drawn overhead shot of the city. Multiple people animated in one scene equals an easy win from me as always. Yes, 
ただのショッピングじゃねえか度数が高い<笑>必ず生き延びて勝ち組になってやる。約千年前、大帝国を築いた始皇帝は悩んでいた。A great example of a concise and not over the top knowledge dump backstory. Also, I actually think it's a pretty great backstory at the same time. A simple explanation of each weapon belonging to the group, including some nice CGI effects. The animator's actually taken the time to make this street look legit, such as the lights in some windows and actual signs outside of stores. <laughs> Creating a genuinely creepy as f villain. <laughs> Change of art style looks stunning. <laughs> Fluid battle, which is as smooth as butter, spread across a lovely piece of toast straight out of the toaster on a warm summer's day. Great, now I'm hungry. A proper cool backstory to a villain that actually makes legitimate sense as to how he turned out the way he did. My boy is a perfect fit for this character, I think. Can't really show it as it's quite a bloody sequence of events, but yet another well thought out backstory. Enter my waifu numero two. Beautiful night sky really helps to create an absolutely stunning scene. Such an awesome and genuinely funny reaction here. Can't show a great deal of it, but this was an awesome action sequence that just looked and sounded great and also had a fantastic musical score behind it. Absolutely brilliant song behind this most excellent battle. Kind of reminds me of something you'd hear from Hunter x Hunter. Once again, I'm giving mad props to the smooth animation that goes into these fight scenes. It just looks great. Here, the anime deals with her death in an excellent way and helps pave the path forwards for every battle being a nervous one since you never know when your favorite character might die. This one last move to help save her friend. This montage and the music behind it is a lovely and fitting way to end the character in a way which actually affects the viewer. It's done really well. And then the abrupt end swings you back to the cold, harsh reality of this very mature world. <laughs> Just look at those stunning weather effects and the reflection in the now wet street. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, that's such lovely and sad music. I just love the hell out of this music. It really fits the palace well. Do you
Enter one of the biggest and best twists this anime ends up getting, one I personally really enjoyed. <clears throat> you need look no longer, my lovely, because your dream boat is right here. This room is so well put together you could be easily forgiven for not realizing it's a still shot with a hand animated Tatsumi inside it. The introduction of three cool characters with great abilities. Akame showing a nice amount of weakness is a pretty small but nice bit of character building showing us she does in fact care deeply about those she fights alongside. I can't show it, but Jesus, they said the weird kid skinned the girl alive and then showed part of her face! This anime does an awesome job of making you hate characters really quickly! <laughs> great music and great backstory! Art view tells us that the scene is important. <laughs> smooth animation is smoother than butter that's been heated up in the microwave for 30 seconds. Badass transformation is fucking badass. <laughs> This looks sick as fudge! <laughs> Managing to create the physics behind this attack in what is actually quite a realistic fashion. I love it when a battle is as smooth as this, really gets you pumped up. Mastering rotation during a battle. Great backstory, but also fucking outstanding music that I cannot praise enough. Just look up, dude. Thank me later. Wink! Those rain effects are bloody brilliant. This is seriously such a badass weapon in terms of how it's called into action. Can't show it on YouTube, but what a bloody, literally, excellent finish to this short battle. The death of Bulat, one which I found genuinely really sad the first and second time I saw this. Big boss beeps. <clears throat> the introduction of a cool ass character and for multiple people being animated on screen at one time. Absolutely stunning palace and city-wide view. Probably the best I've ever seen in terms of detail in all honesty. For the introduction of these guys who all get fleshed out pretty nicely. Some more than others, of course, though. Oh. Yet another great example of expertly animating characters inside of a still shot environment. Lovely fluid looking battle of greatness and joy. What can only be described as an awesome turn of events, dude. Can't show it for rather obvious reasons, but it's very cool getting to see all of their Imperial arms at work, and it all makes for a great action sequence. Oh my god, this made me laugh so damn hard. 
そして私の恋の相手となる辰巳だ。Well, that was a pretty cool scene. <笑>いいよ、わかった。俺もなんとなくわかったからいいよ。まあ、せっかくだし、似た者同士仲良くしようぜ。I like this bonding moment between the two, since this guy is actually a decent person. I always liked that he was part of the enemy team, though, as it really mixed things up rather than everyone being super evil. Awesome ass CGI effects and yet another cool ass transformation. Ass. <laughs> These freaks and how unique and well designed and voiced they are. <laughs> Hmm. This entire action sequence is just utterly fantastic and incredibly well animated. <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie, that was bloody awesome. <gasps> Very well said. They tend to do this way too often in anime where they sit by because honor and all that bollocks. My word, her voice is genuinely so much better to listen to in this sub than in the English dub, in my honest opinion. <laughs> Exceptionally violent scene welcoming in someone who is a most excellent character. <laughs> they did an awesome job of animating this monster in this form. <laughs> I always thought this was such a funny character trait to give to a character to make them really unique. This is such a different approach to the whole villain aspect, actually showing us things like this which make them appear weak and vulnerable. Plus, boobs. <coughs> yeah. An anime actually animating someone moving closer towards the screen for a change. This was unexpected and very indicative of his character. This here is an incredibly strong scene being used as a precursor to what's going to happen later and helps us shape our feelings about the event when the time comes, and it's definitely a strong feeling. Yet another great example of what I mentioned in the second quarter of giving us time to see the enemy in these kinds of scenarios so as to actually make us feel something for them. This pretty damn awesome turn of events which leads to an episode which I actually really loved. I really do love seeing her like this. It's a great side to her normally evil personality. Hagi 
I love how they're able to use great effects to genuinely make this look like a giant foe versus these two. The techniques are kind of similar to what's used in Attack on Titan. As Death's backstory, which is simple but pretty captivating all the same. Giving a win here for this awesome OP, which is another personal favorite of mine. Lubber is me! This here is a great moment because it's one of the first instances that this genuinely nice guy starts to see that some of his own teammates are actually doing evil things. Having a map like this is, for me, as I'm sure you're aware, pretty awesome as I like seeing things from these points of view from time to time to get a good idea of who is where and doing what. This build up to what will end up being an absolutely fantastic couple of episodes. Stunning view is stunning. Yours cause beebs. His insanely awesome voice acting. This ability and the great effects which make up the first time it's used in the anime. The final setup to this awesome battle. This is pretty damn sick and it shows her current state of mind, but it's also awesome how they build up her backstory around her Imperial Arms and what they can do. My goodness, he's awesome, isn't he? I always loved this battle because it suddenly featured so many different characters, albeit dead ones, and I couldn't help but think about their own backstories and how they became part of her Imperial Arms. And I actually forgot that they do end up giving the backstories in this episode, so that was great to see again, and I'm glad that they took the roughly 50 seconds or so to do so. I can't show it, but yet again another great demonstration of her character to attack in such a shocking way. I love this, it's so goddamn fluid, what a brilliant attack. This episode has legitimately got some fantastic moments. <laughs> Considering throughout the whole season we haven't seen her fight, it's great to finally see it like this. No. No go. Ma. <laughs> I really don't know why, but I genuinely found this incredibly sad that there was still a small fragment of his mind who saw an ally and was really happy. Oh my god, this is so fucking badass! Yeah, and go ahead and take another win for this amazing looking attack too, with only very limited CGI. <laughs> a great ending to a great episode that must have left fans going crazy having to wait for a week until the next episode. <laughs> Oh, so 
Bowser! <laughs> Yet another brilliant example of actually building your evil characters with their own personality and traits and such. This is the main precursor to the hard-hitting moment coming. Okay, so full honesty time. As I write this, I genuinely have tears streaming down my face. It got me badly the first time I saw it, then the second time I watched it with my wife when she got into anime, and now again as I write this video script. I think it hits me because I'm a husband who loves his wife, and on top of that, they build this scene so beautifully between the visuals, his desperation to just get home to safety and his family, and then the soulful and sad music in the background. Wow. Getting to see this backstory gives us an awesome idea of just what these two have been through in their past. Again, I can't show it on YouTube, but Jesus. What's on screen is shocking as hell to be honest, with what I assume are rich people riding down and ending these poor people on foot. This is one area where a Kamika kill really is quite different to other anime, where it's often dark and serious tone. The way in which she dies, which of course I'm hiding in the video, is pretty damn awful and shocking to say the least. What a horrifically sad ending. Being shown a different part of the world with vastly different looking buildings compared to the capital. I always enjoy this as it's great for world building. <laughs> Yet more unique characters, all of whom have their own personalities. Stuff like this is great because it helps put a stop to potential boredom in an anime such as this one. Anime manages to successfully pull off someone wearing a pair of protective gloves and actually make it look decent. <laughs> His voice actor is so great! These kinds of stories of the beasts from which the Imperial Arms are made from are fantastic as once again their stories and origins can be used as great world building tools. Sadly as always I can't show a great deal of it but this battle with these two guys was great, fluid, used minimal usage of CGI and to top it all off was very tense to boot. Seeing this side to her further cements what I've been saying all along about great character building elements that have been used for the enemy. I'm not entirely sure what the perks are to doing this, but I would hazard a guess that it's to do with having the viewer gain some sympathy towards the villains as well as fleshing out all of the characters. I often talk on this channel about the positive and long-term effects an anime can have on you by including moments like these, where everyone is together and eating and such. I honestly do think it can help solidify an anime in your mind for a long time. This anime admittedly doesn't do it all the time, but I have to give credit for it doing it at all. I absolutely adore this side to his personality. Beautiful overhead shot of the city. This has easily got to be the best one of the whole season so far in my honest opinion. It's just world building on an entirely different level. They can go ahead and actually take two wins for this. You've just got to give them props for all of the unique weapons they gave this girl and how well designed they all look. Holy shit balls, look at how bloody awesome this looks!
Now that right there was a cool ass move to protect herself from falling straight to the floor. Such an awesome transformation. Can't show the moment it cuts through her, but I'm mentioning it because the CGI effects were off the charts with that badass attack. Oh man, why did they have to do that to me? Eh, pig foreshadowing. This is a cool ass character with some seriously fing cool ass armor. This super fast reaction from him had me in a laughing fit for way longer than I thought it would. <laughs> My god, I absolutely adore this voice actor. He's just got such incredible range, it's insane. Completely gorgeous view of the capital city is again, as stated, such an amazing way to build a realistic looking environment around the world you've created for the viewer. This entrance. Not a great deal to pick out from the two main battles taking place in this episode, safe to say that they both look great and are incredibly well put together. The way in which he wins this battle is most definitely deserving of a win. Such a great character. Can't show it as it's quite bloody, but the way in which Lubber goes out is pretty damn awful and sad to see. This one here is actually a neutral win for once, because when I first saw this anime, I was excited about the prospect of Ezdev saving Tatsumi in some way after hearing this, but then it never happens and that's kind of sad. This here is kind of the disappointing moment I was referring to just now, because I was really hoping that she was going to fight for his heart, I suppose. Having said that though, she's always made it clear that her loyalty is towards the Emperor above all, so it shouldn't come as a shock. Just thought it was a missed opportunity, I guess, but it's still good nonetheless to see her like this. This stunning looking battle deserves a clear win yet again for keeping up the excellent looking visuals as well as for this awesome looking CGI used in his attacks. Dude, that is such a badass technique. Even though Discount All Might is a bad guy, I really enjoy his character's abilities and fighting skills a lot. Wow. Go ahead and take an easy win for this. It's one of the best finishes between two Imperial Arms users thus far. For the epic death of Susano, an absolutely amazing character. I genuinely forgot about this, and even though I do know he doesn't end up making it, his short resurrection is nonetheless great. I really like this moment because it kind of reminded me of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure when Wamu respected Caesar when he died as a true warrior, remembering not only his name but also allowing his sacrifice to remain in the form of an untouched bubble containing the ring and the antidote. Artistically speaking, this picture is beyond stunning in my honest opinion. For the incredibly sad passing of mind and how they handled the entire affair from the music to the animation and lastly to Tatsumi's out of this world voice acting at the end, which to me is reminiscent of Eren screaming no as his mother is eaten by a titan in the Japanese dub. Wow, I can't show it but Esdef basically just sliced the dude in half with ice and then he slid apart. It was gruesome but really awesome looking at the same time. ここはかつて私たちが再会した場所 
そしてお姉ちゃんが私たちを裏切った場所 A pretty great scene of these two prior to their battle just getting to be sisters again and further showing us the enemy's decent sides 死んだ仲間の補充という形で Showing us this dude after we saw him basically undead and fighting for Akame's sister previously is a great world building tool. Goodness gracious me, this battle is incredibly well put together. Again, this foe here brings about some excellent world building. For example, where did this dude come from? How did he come to be covered in heavy armor and chained up? It's like he's a relic of the past from years ago or something, and I love thinking about stuff like that. <laughs> Brilliant CGI and hand drawn effects mashed together into a big old pile of awesome sauce. For resisting the urge to do the age old reaction occurs long after an attack cliche. <laughs> His genuine reaction to her death here. <laughs> Jesus, that voice acting! Likely for the last time, I just wanted to give another win for scenes such as this, where we see an incredible amount of detail of a large city from a distance. It just looks amazing, to be honest. <laughs> Yet another example of what I've been saying in terms of giving the bad guys more of a backstory than most I've seen before. It would have just been better to have seen some flashbacks though. This seamless battle and the effects used are most deserving of a win as well. Holy f***ing cheese balls! This voice acting. I've got to hand it to them, they really did go ahead and create an epic kind of last battle here, even though it's not the end yet, or indeed the last one. It's got all of the classic hallmarks of a great final fight from the music to the brilliant animation and such. This cool ass transformation! Seeing this glimpse of all of the people we grew to know over the series and were sadly killed, it's like a great final reminder of all that Tatsumi and the others fought for. Tatsumi. For the incredibly sad death of Tatsumi and the amazing art style change to signify his passing. <laughs> this is such gorgeous artwork they use. It's always kind of difficult to win a final episode because almost everything that can be said has been said. However, here I'll most definitely give props to a great looking final battle between Ez Death and Akame. The battle looked like it could have gone to either of them, and even though I've seen it twice already before now, it still kept me on edge a little. Tatsumi, here I'll give another win to the end of Ez death and how she went out doing this with Tatsumi. I think it was a really nice final moment for her to show her love for him. I can't show it but oh god they showed his face after her final attack and it is messed up! For the death of Leon and the great way in which it was handled. <laughs> Including a scene which nicely wraps up exactly what Tatsumi sought to achieve when he and his friends first left their village behind. <laughs> okay, go ahead and take one final win for this beautiful scene. The 
Nathan Burr, Bird Without a Word, Arias Alibari, Aiden White, PK Fan, Ali 50, Ryan Anderson, Isael Caldera, Armand Jasuja, Chris Harris, Jonas Schal, Manolo Saucedo Munoz, Luis Hernandez, Joe W, Yuki Ali, Manuel Morales, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Sentimento, Jeffa 6263, Silver, Master Tank, Boogie, MD McVeigh, Aurora, Kevin Nelter, Stephia, Brendan Crea, Storm 970, Spirit Spinner, Mr. Waffle 64, Theodore Quackens, Kaj Vorzelman, Jordan Samuels, Gabby Z, Amya Hamya, Crimson Shadows, Foria, Kyle Farmer, Buzzbomb 3000, Jeffa 6263.